Okay, so removing the first polarizer is uh, relatively easy. Here I'm using a sharp blade uh, to cut under the, the film. Uh, the polarizer is actually composed by two layers. Uh, the first is the um, adhesive and the second is the polarizer itself. Uh, the two tend to uh, separate from each other when you try to peel, um, to peel them off. Uh, so be careful, if they do separate, uh, stop what you are doing and start over from another corner. When the film finally starts to uh, peel off, uh, use a microfiber uh, cloth to hold down the screen and um, to avoid scratching the surface of the LCD and here uh, the video is at two times speed but of course take your time we don't want to damage the LCD At this stage I wanted to check that everything was still working so I'm using uh, a piece of uh, polarizer uh, to check the integrity of the screen and here you can see that the polarizer actually has an orientation if you put it in the, the wrong orientation you get a negative image which is quite neat so everything is working. Now it's time to remove the backlight. Uh, I'm using again a, a sharp blade uh, to cut into the, the tape that holds the aluminum back plate. At this stage uh, it's, it's not too complicated but again take your time. Uh, we don't want to damage the, the screen. All this work because um, I found this uh, nice 4K 12 inches LCD uh, with a control board and I wanted to build myself an SLA um, LCD based 3D printer. Uh, unfortunately it has a very aggressive uh, um, pol polarizer uh, that blocks uh, most of the UV. Uh, so I wanted to try to remove both polarizers and see if I could find uh, a good replacement and use uh, this screen as, uh, as a base for, uh, for the 3D printer. I read that what uh, cuts the uh, UV light is not just the polarizer but uh, something inside the LCD matrix itself. Um, anyways, uh, I already had this, uh, this screen, so I wanted to check for myself if uh, I could build a 3D printer with it. Here I'm losing the um, backlight connector to the PCB, and now it's time to remove the aluminum uh, back plate. There's a, a tiny bit of glue that holds the aluminum plate so mm, use a, a sharp blade and, and your fingernail to uh, detach the various layers and mm, it shouldn't be too difficult but mm, as always take your time uh, uh, you don't want to scratch the LCD and you don't want to uh, crack it as well. And now we are finally ready to remove the back plate and reveal all the layers inside the LCD. One should be uh, something like to diffuse the light and this, this layer here and uh, this one should be, I don't know, to reflect probably and this is the 
LCD without backlight and without the front polarizer. Now the hard part is to remove uh, the inside polarizer. So put some soft cloth on the table to avoid damaging the uh, LCD and uh, place some double-sided tape just on the ridge of each side uh, basically just a couple of millimeters uh, um, inside the, the screen uh, you will see that uh, there's a, a black frame all around the LCD so uh, just cover uh, that frame with, uh, with the double-sided tape of course, this is the uh, top side of the, of the screen. The polarizer film that we are going to remove is actually on the other side. Since the tape holds on such a small uh, surface, uh, remember to um, press uh, the tape firmly with your fingernail so it sticks on the uh, LCD. So remove the protective film from, from the tape. Uh, things can get messy when removing the panel from the cloth. Here my wife is helping me. And uh, stick the, uh, the LCD over uh, a flat surface. Uh, here I have a, a piece of glass, but probably uh, a wooden board is fine too. And I placed a very, very thin a cloth uh, between the glass and the and the panel to I don't know probably avoid uh, scratching the uh, the very delicate uh, LCD. Mm, I don't know probably it is not needed, but uh, I did I did it anyway. Press on the border of the panel to ensure that uh, sticks on the on the glass, but be very careful on the corners that are uh, very fragile and brittle and they could crack. Start from one of the two top corners as they seem to be uh, more robust and use a, a sharp blade to cut under the polarizer and you'll see that uh, soon you'll be able to uh, use your hand to uh, peel the, the film off. Uh, you'll see that uh, the panel uh, sticks very well to the to the glass, but uh, take your time. The LCD is less than uh, one mi millimeter uh, thick, so uh, it is very brittle and uh, it's easy to to crack it. I actually. Uh, damaged one of the corners but fortunately the LCD is still working and uh, again here I'm using uh, a microfiber uh, cloth to hold the LCD down while I'm peeling the film off and soon after you should have all the film removed and hopefully the, the LCD undamaged. Now, this is very important. Uh, the best way to remove uh, the panel from the tape is to use some uh, isopropyl alcohol. Um, you'll see that as soon as you pour the alcohol, uh, the, the tape will loosen its grip and the panel will uh, detach um, by itself without applying any, any pressure and this is very important because at this stage uh, the panel is, is very delicate, very brittle. Don't be shy, use as much alcohol as needed. I used 99% pure uh, alcohol and I didn't damage the uh, the panel. Again, be very careful with the bottom corners. They are both very fragile, but at this point you should have a polarizer-free uh, panel 
Uh, all left to do is to find an alternative uh, po polarizer, uh, one that uh, doesn't cut too much uh, UV light, and uh, we are ready to build our 3D printer. <laughs>